Good morning, Crandall High School. I'm Jamison Sterrett. And I'm Cameron George. Get ready for another exciting edition of Pirate TV. That's right, J-Mo. We've got a jam-packed show for you today filled with all the latest news and updates from around our school. So grab a seat and stay tuned because it's all right here, right, right now, now on, on Pirate, Pirate TV. TV. Welcome back into the studio. Let's jump right into all the news and updates for Crandall High School. Kicking off our news today, we're celebrating Black History Month here at Crandall High School. Chef Ford has been cooking up some delicious soul food in honor of this important month. That's right, J-Mo. Our very own Chef Ford has been serving up traditional dishes that celebrate African American culture. From fried chicken to collard greens, students are getting a taste of history in the culinary world. Good morning, Pirates. I'm Christian reporting for Pirate TV, and this week in Black History Month, I went down to the culinary to see what Chef Ford had cooked and why it's so special to him. Hey, how y'all doing? Chef Ford, Black History Month. Woo! So, uh, I had to do the fried catfish, the candy yams, the greens, and the mac and cheese, and the hot water cornbread. The bell just rung. You know, we in school. All right, so, um, what this means to me, uh, back in the day, like my, my parents actually have a soul food restaurant. Um, and so, but um, before that, they would always cook these meals like this. And I always remember, and as a kid, like even with hot water cornbread, my grandma used to make it. I used to go to the basketball and I'd, I'd take a hot piece of hot water cornbread, a piece of fish. I'm on my way down to go hoop at the, um, down, at, down at the Austin Elementary because I used to live in Mesquite or whatever. And so um, it's just kind of one of them childhood things. And then greens, we used to get greens almost every Sunday. Everybody loves mac and cheese and candy yams. And so it just, you know, kind of brings back that memories from back in the day. Cause how I kind of grew up eating this uh, different, this soul food. And then uh, we actually got all this stuff. And as I went to school, I found a way to actually make all this stuff into recipes and actually uh, do this. And that's why my parents actually have a soul food restaurant, like I said, in Mesquite. So they do it like every first, uh, first Sunday of the month. They, they actually do oxtails, fried pork chop, I mean, a smother pork chop. They do a lot of stuff. Anyway. I just wanted to do a little some some little spread today, and that's 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 what we got. So that fried catfish and hot water cornbread and, and greens, candy yams and mac and cheese. Gotta love it. Soul food, food for the soul. I'm Christian Partain, reporting for Pirate TV, sending it back to the studio. It's fantastic to see our school embracing diversity and learning about the contributions of African Americans throughout history. In other news, the National Honor Society had a successful blood drive earlier this week. That's right. Many students rolled up their sleeves to donate blood and help save lives. It's incredible to see our school community coming together for such an important cause. Absolutely, J-Mo. Giving blood is a selfish act that can truly make a difference in someone's life. The high school blood drive presents us with a unique opportunity to be beacons of hope for those facing medical emergencies, for those battling life-threatening conditions, and for those who depend on generosity of strangers for a chance of survival. So one of the, why is it so important to donate blood, especially us being so young, is because we are in a universal blood shortage, and so they're in need of lots of blood right now. And since it's easy access right here at Crandall, it's just simple, get it done, and help a lot of people. One of the main things I've learned is how much work goes into it. So we start planning for blood drive months ahead, months ahead and Ms. Hicks and the other officers, we are all just doing whatever we can to make it go as smooth as possible, get people in and out, back to class. So it's just a very big commitment we make. As you can see, the blood drive is a big part of saving lives all over the world. It's not just about getting out of class. I hope this better helps you understand the importance of the blood drive and how it can help people all over the world, not just for today, but for many days to come. What's up, Pirates? Today I have Tristan Cifuentes and Kendra Jones with me. Today we will be doing a trivia game show, and here's the rules. If any contestant gets a question wrong, then they have to get a spoonful of hot sauce. If they both get it wrong, or if they both don't answer, then they both have to get a spoonful of hot sauce. Now this trivia will be about the school's history and the current history that's happening in the school right now. What year was the current high school built? Go. All right, hey, Tristan, care, <laughs> Tristan, care, Tristan, <laughs> Tristan got it, care, Tristan bro. got it. So, now I gotta answer the question correctly, we got 20 seconds. You don't know this history. I'm gonna go with uh, B, 2006. B, B, 2006. The question is incorrect. Mm. I mean, the answer is incorrect. Mm. Answer is A. Answer is A? 
Kendra Jones is correct. Bro! That means Tressie, you... Studying. That means you gotta get a spoonful of hot sauce. You're the first one. All right. Mm. Take it. Yep, go ahead. Mmm. So slight. So slight. When was the first high school bill? Go. Kendrick Jones got that. 1903. No, no. That is, that that is <laughs> Kendrick Jones. I got that first. Your answer is correct. Mm, what is a hot sauce? <laughs> you promoting a business right now? It's advertising. <clears throat> I'll put a little bit more on your side this time, Tristan, because this is brutal. Am I spoiling how it's this color because of the hot sauce and yours? Get the questions right. <laughs> How many state championships has our cheerleaders, uh, ch pirate cheerleaders, won? Go. Come here. All right, trusting out that one. <laughs> B five. All right, that question is correct. Yeah. KJ Jones. So, so I didn't grab that. No. You can't watch the replay. Watch the replay. No, go ahead. No, there's some little residue left. <laughs> what is Mr. Melm's first name? Go. C. C. He says Joseph. <laughs> that answer is correct. Bro. Look like a little Joseph. He looks right, like a Joseph. I would have said Joseph too. Every one of them. Next time we'll do Bean Boozled, so it's more like. <coughs> so it's more like th this isn't this isn't enough of a challenge for them. But I think I what was the Crandall football team's record this year? Y'all should know this because y'all play football. Put your so y'all should down. know y'all's record. Put your hand down. Go. No, no, he it's cheated. He cheated. <laughs> Sixty four. Oh my God, he cheated. Watch your no. replay. Your answer is. Correct. Hey, double. <laughs> Damn. It's it's a camera. Lady. What will we say for the next contendents coming on this show, Tristan? Uh, we need an instant replay, <laughs> and we need something a little more upscale. Was the hot sauce too light? The hot sauce was too light. Mm -hmm. Was it for Tristan? Yeah. <laughs> Tristan's not even sweating right now. Nah. All right, that's all we have for you. Thank you, Tristan. Thank mm -hmm. you, Kendrick. Thank y'all. Y'all have a great day. Good. Shifting gears, let's talk about some exciting achievements in the world of extracurriculars. Both our cheer team and Gold Duster drill team bought home awards this past weekend for outstanding performances. Hey Pirates, Crandall Cheer went to Disney World in Orlando, Florida to compete in the National Cheer Competition. Their trip was not only packed full with fun activities to do at the park, but also competing. Cheer placed fifth in the national competition. Congratulations, Cheer, and welcome back. Wait, we're not done yet. Gold Dusters has also recently competed. They were awarded Best in Category Runner-Up Palm, Best in Category Military, Best in Category Jazz, Best in Category Production, Champion Circle, Supreme Award Military, Supreme Award Jazz, Supreme Award Production, Applause Award for Outstanding Sportsmanship on All Routines, and best of best runner-up. Congratulations, Gold Dusters, and cheer. Back to you guys in the studio. That's amazing news. Our athletes have been working tirelessly to perfect their routines, and their hard work has definitely paid off. That's right, Cameron. It's inspiring to see our students excelling not only academically, but in their extracurricular activities as well. And uh, speaking of academics, our UIL academic team have been invited this past weekend and walked away with some impressive results, showcasing their intellect and skills on a competitive level. That's pretty cool, Cam. It's impressive to see our students excel not only in sports and extracurriculars, but also in the academic area as well. Of course. Hey guys, I'm Miss Bullard. I'm the UIL academic coordinator here at Crandall High School, that old lady in the English Hall. And I've got some great news. We are so proud of our academic students competing in UIL this year. Um, Saturday, February the 10th, we took an invitational to Canton. The good news about this is we went up against teams that we will be seeing in April. Listen to these results. It's amazing. Um, Mr. Juarez coaches interpretation for poetry and prose. And in that category, Ariana Jeter got second in poetry. Parker Wallace got fourth in prose. Amazing accomplishments. Mr. Pruitt over at the Freshman Center, he coaches social studies. We had a fourth and fifth place overall. Katie De La Rosa and Samantha De La Rosa took fourth and fifth in social studies.
Extemp and LD is myself coaching. For Persuasive Extemp, Luke Abraham got first in prelims. Shelton Gibbs and Sebastian Munoz both got second in prelims. For Informational Extemp, Jayla Faulkner took fourth in prelims. We are so excited about that. And I have to say a quick shout out to one of our LD uh, competitors. She had never competed before. I just literally pulled her in. You're going to compete. Go. She won her first round in LD, and that is London Margot, and we are so excited about that. In spelling and vocabulary, first place team, Pirates, first place team. Haley Walters took second. Pearl Aguru took sixth. First place team in spelling and vocab. And in ready writing, these are our big winners. Somebody do a shout out for Miss Moses because she's coaching our ready writing team. We swept it. Listen to this. Adila Laguda, first place. Morgan Hendricks, third place. Ishioma Okanji, fourth place. Abigail Aker, fifth place. Camila Flores Ruiz, sixth place place. We swept that contest. We've got some great writers on campus. My name is Adila Laguda and I competed in ready writing for Crandall. Ready writing is a time-based essay and you're given two hours to write based off of a quote you're given um, using evidence from your own thoughts. We swept the competition this time around for the first time. Miss Moses is our coach and she's really encouraging and always helps us out when we're nervous or we don't know what to write about. When you see these students, when you see these coaches, please congratulate them on a job well done and um, just root them on to our district contest taking place in April at Terrell High School. That's it. Now onto some tech news. TikTok has recently made a significant change removing sounds from their feed. Have you noticed this change? Wow. And were you upset about some of these favorite sounds being gone? Pirate reporter Jalen Washington noticed a shift in the platform and was interested in how our student body felt about this change. So as many of you know, UMG, also known as Universal Music Group, failed to reach a new licensing deal with TikTok last week, which caused thousands of UMG on music to be suddenly muted and removed from the TikTok library. So I went around to ask students how they felt about the change. How do you feel about all the sound being removed off TikTok? Oh my mama, I will beat that CEO up. <laughs> It makes me really mad. <laughs> well, I think it's like a shame, bro, because it's all the good music on TikTok, bro, and everybody already listen to music. I'm really just happy that they got rid of Taylor Swift songs. That's really For real. I'm just happy that they still have Frank Ocean on TikTok. I like that. I like that. I'll be back at it again. I got one in the wild. Hey, what's up? Big guy. Yo. Hey, hey. How you feel about TikTok moving all the sounds? Bro, I, bro, that was so annoying, bro. bro. I just wanted to smash my phone against the wall, bro. I feel you, I feel you. I like that. Oh, Jay, let, let me take this over real quick. Let me, let me go ask some of my people. We back for part two. Zach Kell, I got a question for you. Do you watch TikTok? Yes. All right, who your favorite TikToker? I don't got one. Uh, what's your opinion on all the sounds being removed? They don't need to remove them. Why? Well, why do you want to remove the sounds? We use the sounds every day. Mm, okay, okay. Good answer. Good answer. I, man, I like that. That's a solid answer, man. See, I get solid answers. Taylor, I don't know what he was doing. I was just messing with you, Fives. You know, J5, hey, man. J5. Who was your favorite TikToker? Uh, Ty Herndon, Zero. <laughs> Welcome back, and here's this week's Pirate Entertainment. This past Sunday was the Super Bowl, and after a weak first half, the Chiefs came back to win in overtime with a score of 25-22. to Speaking of the Super Bowl, we also got a bunch of trailers for upcoming movies, such as Deadpool 3, Wicked, and Kung Fu Panda 4. Act 2, which arrives on March 29th. She's already released two songs from the album called Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. That's all for this week. Back to you in the studio. And lastly, let's shine a spotlight on a heartwarming event. Crandall High School recently participated in Night to Shine, an event hosted by the Tim Tebow Foundation. Night to Shine is an unforgettable prom night experience for people with special needs and our school community. They came together to make it truly magical. From the red carpet entrance to the dancing and games, it was a night filled with joy and celebration for everyone involved. This past Friday, February 9th, Crandall Student Council volunteered with the 2024 Kaufman Night to Shine. Night to Shine is a free prom for people with special needs aged 14 and older. Night to Shine takes place all over the world with Kaufman being just one of over 700 proms all happening on February 9th. 
Our student council volunteered on the red carpet team, cheering on all the kings and queens as they had their pictures taken by paparazzi before they entered into the dance. It was a reward and fun experience for all students. Was it a fun and rewarding experience? Um, I really enjoyed seeing um, their faces light up as we cheer them on walking down the red carpet. What made you volunteer? Um, I volunteered because I thought it would be a fun experience and I like serving my community. What experiences did you have? Well, it was very really enjoyable to assist in making those who attend our event very welcome. It was nice to see all these people feel very happy as we welcomed them through our red carpet where most of us were. Was it a fun and rewarding experience? It most definitely was because seeing the joy on their face is kind of indescribable to, like, I guess the word I'm looking for is quantify because seeing them happy was just very enjoyable, I guess. This is Clayton reporting from Pirate TV. Back to you guys in the studio. It's events like Night to Shine that remind us of the importance of inclusivity and spreading kindness in our community. And before we sign off, let's take a quick look at the wide world of sports at Crandall High School. Our athletes have been hitting the courts and fields with full force, showing determination and skill in every game. What's up, Pirates? I'm inside the gym for the sports update today. Girls, basketball season concluded on Monday night at Lakeview Centennial High School against Princeton, where they fought hard, but unfortunately, they lost the playoff game. But the boys played very well against Forney on Tuesday night where they took the win in Forney and they now have a playoff game. Don't know where it's at yet, but they will be playing McKinney North. But stay tuned. Make sure you follow our social media pages so you can get all the information for the boys' playoff game. We want you to come out and support them. If you can't come out and support them on Monday, you can tune in right here on Pirate Productions, so make sure you're subscribed and you have that bell turned on for all of those sports notifications. Now, boys soccer has their game tonight. They have teacher appreciation night, so come out, support your favorite teachers and the soccer team as they play here at home. The powerlifting team is doing a great job as they're concluding their season as they're going into the regional meets. I spoke to Coach Brewer, he's, and he said that both the boys and the girls teams have been improving all season long. Now, lastly, the track meet that Crandall hosts is today, and it's at the middle school. We want to see those runners take home the gold medals. So come out, support all their sports teams. We have so much going on. Baseball and softball seasons are just getting started with their preseason games. So if you're looking for something to do, come out and support our Crandall Pirate Athletics. Back to myself and Cameron in the studio. A couple of things to mention before we leave. We do not have school tomorrow or Monday, so students, enjoy your four-day weekend. And I don't know about you, Cameron, but I'm ready to sleep in. Oh, yeah, for sure. Same. And have a great day, Pirates. You've been watching Pirate, Pirate TV. TV. We'll see you guys next week. Next time. Woo!